all uh, topics what we required for examination right okay. yes yeah. so uh, if you want then we will solve one more problem for maximum power transfer otherwise we'll discuss whatever queries you have today mom some problems on power, maximum power transfer theorem okay so i will share my document give me a minute Yes, is it visible to you? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, so I think one point eight seven we have completed last lecture, right? Yes, ma'am. So you can proceed for one point eight eight, and we'll try to solve one point eight nine also for practice. Any other point uh, question you require to discuss with me? You just go through and find it out, and we'll discuss after fifteen twenty minutes about it. So till that point, you can solve these problems, and those who have any query, just note down in your notebook and. Uh, Write down the question number also that we will discuss. Okay. So I am not going to explain you this problem. You can proceed as as you know what are the steps of maximum power transfer. That first is uh, find out the RTH like your Thevenin's theorem. Then we are going to find out VTH like Thevenin's theorem. Now determine the maximum power transfer across your RL. Means here you are going to open and then you are going to apply the KVL question and find out VTH. And then maximum power formula everybody know it. Okay, we can proceed about it.
Yes, what you are using KVL, KCL, mesh axis, anything else you are using for finding the value of currents in resistances? Which type you are using? Give me an idea. Yes, anybody from you started finding VTH, right? Yes, students, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then anybody of you tell me what you, how you are proceeding. Just tell me the idea. What you, how you are going to proceed for finding VTH? Um, mesh analysis. Yeah. If you are going for mesh analysis, are, are we going for say, proper mesh or are we supposed to use super mesh here? Yes, Ravi? Yes, ma'am. I think super mesh, ma'am. Super mesh we required. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Right. So, what I have, I wanted to tell you one more thing that just uh, you can use super mesh for this loop, and uh, here directly you will get I one current is twenty five. Here you are going to you apply Ohm's law, and then you can find out the current. Here. So, like that, you can proceed, or you can use source transformation here. And then apply mesh or nodal, whatever you want. Okay, so shall I shall I show you the answers, or you are going to proceed from your side? Shall I wait for five more minutes? Yes, Anika. Yes, ma'am. Wait for five minutes. Okay. If you will complete, then you will, all of you will write done in a chat box. The 10 ampere current source is connected to the AB, uh, AB node, so we can't uh, alter it. No? AB node means I'm not getting your point, Tanvi. Uh, no, ma'am. The 10 ampere current source it yeah. connected to uh, RL in parallel. No? But RL will be removed now whenever you're going to apply VTH and RTH. Oh, okay. Uh, remove, remove RL here. It's not an Norton theorem, it's a Thevenin's theorem. So for both the process of VTH and RTH, we are going to remove RL and then apply your techniques.
Yes, have you completed VTH, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can we just check the VTH value? RTH also completed. What about RTH? 1.76. 1.76. Anybody still solving RTH? Please raise your hand. RTH, anybody solving? Okay. Anybody solving VTH? Please raise your hand. Everybody completed. Good. So we'll just check the answer now. So this is a 1.76 is your answer of uh, RTH, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And uh, VTH is here. 58.2. Yeah, they have, used, they have used here uh, super mesh uh, analysis. And they found the answer of current I2 is 14.41. Now, one more thing I uh, actually I wanted to tell you that uh, they have used different uh, 58.82. That is correct. So what I wanted to tell you here that as I told you earlier, you can use one path. So what they have considered in the middle branch, you can use the outer path also like this. Now, one thing I will tell you to cross check. I, do, I have no idea about it. That if you're going for this path, what is your answer? What do you think? Are we going to get the correct answer? Or we are not going to get the correct answer? Yes. What do you think? It will be actually 125 minus 5i1 minus 10i1. Yes, have you checked it? Anybody checking it? Yes or no? Yes, where is D2B? D2C students, where are you? Checking the answer. Okay, those who are not checking for that uh, path, this 125, you can check it here for 10 and 2. 10 through 10 ohm, 2 currents will flow, I3 and I2, and through 2 ohm, 2 I2 will flow. Check the path 10 and 2. Ma'am, 10 and 2 say We are getting answer by 10 and 2, but what about 125, 5 and 10? Yes, anybody checked it? Yes or no? Ma'am, it's coming 58.85. That is fine. But are you getting correct answer? 58, you are getting Kinjal, right? Yes, ma'am. With the same equation what I told you earlier. Right? Yeah. So, uh, as I told you that any outer path, any middle path, you can check and you will get the answer. So, here you can see that both the methods are correct. So, we are getting the correct answer of, are you getting Tmax 491.45, everybody? Yes, ma'am. 
What about others? Yes, ma'am. Anybody here who is not getting answer, please raise your hand. Okay, fine. So now all of you just take down one point eight nine. I know you are not uh, looking into that document, whatever I have shared with you earlier. Don't go for that. Just try to solve from your side. If you'll go for that and you'll open the document and you'll solve problem, then at the time of exam, you're not going to get the idea how to proceed. So here also, you are going to proceed. There is one trick that you need to apply for finding RTH. Find the value of RL for the maximum power transfer. And calculate the maximum power transfer to RL in the network. Yes, everybody, RT is completed. Yes or no? What did you do after this step 1.381 diagram? Yes, they just? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What did you do after this step? What I have shown you on the screen? Uh, firstly, find the RTH whose value is coming. Uh, but how to how to proceed for finding RTH here? Anybody else? Ah, uh, Tejas, can you give me answer? Aditya, can you give me answer of it? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Still, uh, those who are solving, please raise your hand. Okay. okay. Then we'll wait for five more minutes. Let the other student complete. After completion, all of you, please write in chat box. Done.
Ma'am, do we have to apply star and delta over here? Yeah, it is required here. But how to proceed? That you understood or not? I will show you one more figure. One minute. I will just scroll down. See this CD line to a home. If we are drawing here, instead of that, if we draw in the middle, so what will happen? Same will get right. Yes, ma'am. It will yeah, form so a delta. So, yeah, so two delta two will be there. Yeah, any any one delta you can convert. You can convert upper delta or lower delta, and you will get like this. So A and B point will be there till end. So you can do star delta conversion here. But we required A and B point till end of this question. Don't remove it for finding RTH. Is it clear, Kinjal? Yes, ma'am. Yes, students, I have shared HC circuit one topic with you. In that, I have given you yesterday page numbers, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Only theory we have for this examination. There is no problems for the AC circuits. Only DC problems are there in your test one. Yes, only they just completed. What about others completed this problem or not?
Is anybody still solving? Please raise your hand. So I think we can check the RTH value. The RTH is three point two seven. Everybody check it. Is anybody have a doubt here? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yeah. So what about VTH? Everybody completed, or still anybody is solving about VTH? Shall I wait for a few more minutes? Please, those who are solving, please raise your hand. Everybody completed. Okay, so we'll check the value of VTH also. Here is the path we can consider from B to A, or here B to A. Any one path you can consider, you will write an equation. So our equation will be. You can consider it's I two and here I three. You supposed to consider. Now they are using here. Current division rule. From that, they have written the equation. So here they are considering total current I, here I two, here I one. So for writing the VTH equation through one only I two, you are going to consider because because it's a current division rule. We are not considering a mesh analysis. Current division may we are going to know about the branch currents instead of mesh current. So if you are going to use current division. Then you will use I current here, here I two in this branch, and here I one. So you will you can write here that one into I two is in opposite direction with your path. So one into I two. Then plus mm -hmm. uh, for four ohm that both the currents means KVL direction and your current I one in they are in same direction. So you will write four into I one but minus sign, and you will get the answer about it. So you can check here answer of VTH and Pmax. See, they have given all the diagrams, whatever you required. You can go for it, or you can go for a mesh analysis. Give the two currents in two loops, and through every resistance, you are going to consider the combination of two currents. Yes, everybody completed or not this problem? Yes, Amit completed. I'm actually I just calculated VTH. I'm doing now. Okay, Dipanchu. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bhavesh completed. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Harshita. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Karan also completed. See Malhar, Malhar Pandey. Done. Malhar Pandey completed or not? Pawan Thakur. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Completed. Okay. Fine. So many of you completed, right? So. Amit, you are completed or not? P max. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so so if we have completed maximum power transfer, can you just give me an idea for which point you supposed to uh, discuss and which which part you required from our DC circuit topic? That we'll discuss, and if you want to solve some more problems or query, if you have, you can tell me. Yes or no? No queries. Then also you write here in chat box. No queries. Yes, Tanvi. Any query from your class? You got it till now. No, ma'am. Okay. If you'll get any query, Tanvi and uh, Vedant, right? For this year, sir, there from our class. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. So, if you get any query about from anybody, any students, just um, you tell me. Just send me a message, and then we'll keep extra lectures required on the day of examination in the afternoon. Right. So now, anybody have a doubt? Can can we just go for uh, points of starting points? What we have discussed earlier: series parallel or Norton theorem or mesh? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Which one you want?
okay so already we know the procedure for thevenin's theorem right same we are going to proceed only we are finding the value of current we'll take one example here see we'll take this example now current i they are telling to find out means this current in this branch right 1.84 don't solve it just listen to me first of all generally what we are doing for finding the ra rth and vth in theven is that we are shorting this branch instead of shorting this branch sorry we are opening this branch in thevenin's theorem we are going to remove this rl in thevenin's theorem but in norton theorem we are going to short ab after shorting this ab branch we will get current i in here i in will flow from a to b always consider one point a one point b and just show current from a to b whatever be the current is positive or negative now here you can apply kcl kvl mesh nodal whatever you want or star delta transformation source transformation and then find out the in value so how did you uh, how they found they found here they have converted the upper uh, delta into star and they got the three meshes and then they found the value of in here after finding the in value you can proceed for finding the rth now rth is similar like your rn so for finding r n remove the branch a b remove from here and after removing a b you are going to find out r t h across a and b so here you can see after removing we'll see the diagram like now whenever you are going to remove a b better you start from first diagram only this diagram only you consider and remove a b because we are going to proceed for our final output of r t h that is fine if you will consider this diagram also there is no issue because all the resistances are there in the in the terms of star that is fine but generally we are proceeding with this first diagram and then across ab you find out rth and rn you can say it is like this and you will get 2.027 and then load current calculation by drawing the norton theorem norton circuit it is current in in upward direction rn here rl here and then by using current division rule find out the current through rl yes is it clear anurag na yeah anybody else want any other uh, procedure yes kinjal you are asking for starting procedures what do you want ma'am i get confused in super mesh problems ha ah, we'll see one super mesh problem fine yeah here is the super mesh right uh, when we are going to use super mesh whenever the current source is present in the middle branch we'll see bigger one already we have solved that problem we'll see one more problem here it is there ha ah. here you can see the whenever the current source in the middle branch at that time we supposed to write use super mesh so if though the resistance is come, uh, present in a series with the current source you going to remove that branch for finding the super mesh value so first of all we'll write the equation for this so we'll give the branch mesh currents first these are this is i1 i2 and i3 now i2 is in the same direction with 2 ampere i3 is opposite direction so what we'll write here i2 minus i3 is equal to 2 that is one equation we are going to write for this middle branch i2 minus i3 is equal to 2 right after writing this equation we have we just think that don't remove it actually think that this branch is not present in your circuit so we have apply super mesh across whole circuit when you are going to apply super mesh here you are going to consider current i2 here you are going to consider current i3 right so you are though we are applying super mesh currents are different so we when you are right going to write the equation for phi and ohm is minus 5 i3 minus i1 minus 10 i2 minus i1 Minus two into I two, minus three into minus one into I three. That is equal to 
that is equal to zero. That is your super mesh equation. And then after writing that, apply mesh in the first loop. You will get three equation. First equation is this one. Second is super mesh equation, and third one is your mesh one equation. Solve it on calculator. You'll get answer. Got it, Tanvi? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, everybody has. Everybody know that how to solve it on calculator, right? Anybody have a doubt how to solve it on calculator? Ma'am, can you tell once? Yeah, your uh, calculator number is F X nine nine one. Es or ex. What is your calculator name number? Es. Everybody is ex, right? Tanvi, what is a, a button there on calculator for equation? Wait a minute. Menu or setup. Menu. Then, ah uh, yes, menu or setup. Then uh, press A. Okay. Yeah, it is like A. It is not one, two, three, four, right? We're done. No, for that uh, equation thing, uh, A is the key. Okay. 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 Can you just wait, then? Can you show your calculator on screen? I'll just stop presenting. Can you just switch on your camera and show the calculator on screen? Yes, ma'am. Wait. One minute only. Everybody, just pin the Vedant. Uh, screen so that it will show it it will he will show the calculator on screen so i will tell you how to it because everybody has ex calculator right no, i have the em i have ms ms i think ms may mode is there right abhi yes ma'am e uh, ah. mode setup es and ms we have a mode for number mode uh, button to so press the mode you will get uh, the equation different numbers this, 1 2 3 4 5 Yeah, for equation it is in five. Yes, ma'am. Five. Yeah, press five and then you will get again four options. One, two, three, four for particular equation. First is a x plus b y is equal to c. Yes. Third, second is a x plus b y plus c is equal to. Yeah. Wait, then just show me which button it is. Yeah, first, uh, right, right, sec, second, right. Ha ha. That that button is there. So you are getting different options on the screen. So which option you are going to select here? Then uh, we have to press this log and a key. Log and, and a. Asks, yes, this one. That a blur here, so we can't see it properly. Yours, yours is E X, right? E X nine one one. Yes. Yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah, somewhat. Log and. A. Log and A. That press we have to be supposed to press that press that key. Yes. After pressing mode and set menu and setup. Yes. So what you could you what you can see on screen for that matter. Then then it ask uh, it is a simul equation or a polynomial. Yeah. So it will be simultaneous equation, right? Then press one for press simultaneous one. equation. Right. Right. Then next then is. Then it asks. Huh. Number of unknowns. Yes. So how many unknowns? It is depending on your left hand side equation. If it is ten ten uh, i one plus two twenty i two is equal to thirty means two unknowns, right? Yes, Vedant, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, according to the number of unknowns, you have to yeah. press one, two, three, or four. Okay. Then we will press two here. And then what you will get? You will get a matrix form or not? Yeah, matrix. Yes, right. yes, matrix form. This part is similar in all calculators. It is ES, MS, or EX. This matrix form is same in all calculator. So enter your values with sign. If you are having ten I one minus ten I two is equal to twenty, then you are going to write in the first uh, one by one place, and it is ten. Second place you have to write minus ten. And third place it is ten twenty. So always C is is at present at right hand side when you will write equation. Right, Vedan? Am I am I correct? Sorry, ma'am. Can you repeat? Yeah, we are supposed to write here ten 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 i one minus ten i two is equal to twenty. Like if you are supposed to write equation, we'll write ten minus ten and twenty. Here also you are going to write you are going to write ten and you will write equal to sign, right? 
yes yes so pray right first uh, coefficient that is 10 press equal to then it will proceed at 1 by 2 place in a matrix then you will place here minus 10 again press equal to and then press 20 uh, enter here 20 and again press equal to then it will come to the second row enter second equation then press equal to you will get your answer again you will get your i1 value again equal to you will press you will get i2 value yes we done okay everybody clear about it anybody ask me about the calculator who who was there manav you ask me about the calculator yes ma'am but yes. Uh, oh, manav yeah yeah case okay. manav yes what happened no no ma'am i got i got it how to calculate yeah manav beri yeah. also you also you also uh, ask yes me. yes what it how to solve yes ma'am yeah so i think ravi has ms calculator so if anybody have a query he can they can contact ravi ravi you can just tell them how to proceed yes, right yes you are clear everything about yes. the ms and es yes yeah so tanvi you have ex calculator oh my yes ma'am okay so those who have any query in ex they can proceed for asking tanvi and vedan those who have query in es or ms s is for school and if those are having ms es they will proceed for asking the questions to ravi yes now what we will do we will take the attendance anybody else injal uh, series parallel or anything you have a query you ask earlier which one you want no ma'am no okay so uh, anybody else have a query okay so can we proceed for attendance today Okay. Yes, roll number one. Present, ma'am. Two. Present, ma'am. Three. Present, ma'am. Four. Present, ma'am. Five. Present. Six. Present, ma'am. Seven. Present, ma'am. Eight. Present, ma'am. Nine. Present, ma'am. Ten. Arsh. Roll number ten. Eleven. Present, ma'am. Twelve. Present, ma'am. Thirteen. Present, ma'am. Fourteen. Fifteen. Present, ma'am. Sixteen. Present, ma'am. Seventeen. Present, ma'am. Eighteen. Present, ma'am. Nineteen. Present, ma'am. Twenty. Present, ma'am. Twenty-one. Present, ma'am. Twenty-two. Present, ma'am. Twenty-three. Present, ma'am. Twenty-four. Present, ma'am. Twenty-five. Present, ma'am. Twenty-six. Present. 